că sunteți mai puțini, foarte mulți sunt plecați în vacanță, cred că voi unii din voi ați venit din vacanță. Good, good, good. Așa. How is your summer? Ce ați făcut? Ați fost plecați pe undeva? Anybody wants to share? Yes. I was la Mexico in Cancun. Beautiful. Și ați învățat. But something I would like to ask you in this vacation, because even though you are in vacation, I think în fiecare zi trebuie să învățăm câte ceva. Și we are learning something, right? Either good or bad, but by doing something, we learn something. Anybody, cineva dintre voi învățat vreo lecție or anything in this summer, anybody learned something. Something what not to do, maybe you got burned touching something hot. It's a lesson. Or maybe something else. Anybody? Yes. Very important. Can merge la at the beach, you gotta put sunscreen on you because if not, you get burned. That's a lesson, right? And I think next time you know what to do, right? Anybody else? Learn the lesson. Now, let me tell you about my lesson, the lesson that I learned. And actually, I learned something kind of confirms that the Bible is true. And uh, I wish, I wish there are some verses in the Bible kind of do not exist. But you know what? They exist and they are true. And I learned them hard way in my garden. Now, how many of you guys have a garden at home? Anybody? Ok, să so pretty much most of you, fiecare din voi aveți o grădină, poate mai mare sau mai mică. Dar în grădina asta, what kind of things do you plant? Ce plantați în grădină? What do you have in your garden? Yes. Um, tomatoes, peppers, you have tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers. How about you? Oh, so you have the same thing like Daniel, right? Man, oh, ok. Anybody else has anything else? Altceva care aveți în grădina voastră? Oh, there is. Okay, oh, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Flowers, beautiful. Do you know what? In Genesis chapter 1, verse 11 and 12, Dumnezeu spus, let the land produce vegetation. Seed bearing anything. The land produce vegetation, plants according to their kind. So pretty much in Gradina Vasar, because of Genesis chapter 1, verse 11 and 12, your garden and my garden produces vegetation. Beautiful tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, everything that you want in our garden. Hey, look at those beautiful apples and tomatoes. They are from the seeds that God created. God made it according to his kind. How about those banana trees and those oranges? God created them too, right? But not only that, in Genesis 1.25, ne spune că Dumnezeu creat și... The animals, all kinds of animals. Fratele Matei spunea de veverițe. You know, I'm thinking of deer. We have in my garden. Once in a while we get a deer that jumps in. Și la căprioara asta îi place să mănânce corn and tomatoes everything else. But you know, this is the way God created the, the, little, the little crickets, the little things that eat the roots of our plants. And pretty much once in a while we get those kind of wild animals, they come in our gardens and they eat. Și ne mănâncă ce-am plantat. Now, Dumnezeu a creat pe toate lucrurile beautiful. And everything, când Dumnezeu l-a creat, a spus că au fost good. Au fost bune, right? They were good. But, when sin came in this world, when the devil came and tempted Eve, something happened there. All of a sudden, The land was cursed because God said in Genesis 3, 17-19, and I would like to read those verses. There are some verses I wish they would not be in the Bible because they're affecting my garden and your garden, and those are some of the verses. Let me read you those verses. In Geneza, capitolul 3, versetul 17 și 18, spune, Omului i-a zis, fiindcă ai ascultat de glasul nevestei tale, și ai mâncat din pomul despre care îți poruncisem să nu mănânci deloc din el, blestemat este acum pământul din pricina ta. Cu multă trudă să-ți scoți hrana din el în toate zilele vieții tale. And that's the verse that I wish would have not been there. Verse 18. Spin și pălămidă să-ți dea și să mănânci 
Yarba de Pecum, Spin și Palamida. Guys, I've been working in my garden the last few weeks, and actually in my pasture too. And I had to pull a lot of Spin și Palamida. I learned about a plant, care este in my pasture, care I dislike. I don't like it. It grows very fast. I don't need to water it. I don't need to take care of it, but it grows extremely fast. And this plant, it's called duck fennel. Anybody heard of duck fennel? You can see it right there. You see right there? This one here? It's called duck fennel. Usually it's very small within a week. It grows big like this. If you don't do anything to it, it grows like this. If you don't do anything to it, there are one, two, three, four, five more coming. And all of a sudden, this right there, this area, it's probably about a week and a half or two weeks worth of not doing anything, right? Look there. In only one week, look in my garden. You see all those, all those weeds and thistles and anything else that I don't want? But you know what? As I was working in the garden, it confirmed me one more time that whatever God says, the Bible, when can Biblia spune ceva, it's true. It's true. And this morning, a lot of prayer time, we had one verse. Care este in um, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 9. Și spune că cuvântul Domnului este încercat. The word of God is flawless. Dacă Dumnezeu spune că spin și pălămidă va fi pe pământ, do you know what? I brought something to confirm and this today, that Spanish Shippolamida is I call it. Joseph, do you want to help me and bring some of the sample of the things that I found in my garden? I want you guys to look at it. And I tell you, only in two, three days, Spini Shippolamida al Criscut. I tried to keep it alive. I'm not sure how well I've done it. But I want you guys to see this. And not only see it, but just touch it. This is, this is my duck funnel. See this little plant here? It's almost dying right now. I tried to keep it alive. But this is the one that if I don't do anything to it, in about two weeks, three weeks, grows pretty tall. So I had to go there with my kids and pull them out one by one by one. And I was pulling them. I was thinking about the curse that God had for this earth. But at the same time, every time I see those little plants, do you know what I'm thinking? In our lives, it may be sin. Sometimes sin comes in little forms. You don't do anything to it. You just leave it there. If you don't confess it, the little sin, guess what? Will grow. At the beginning, it's pretty small. And you see, it's, you know, you can touch it. It's not, it's not, it's not too hard to pull it out. And I, would need, I need a volunteer. May I have a volunteer here? Yes. Daniel, can you come? Yeah, come. Yeah, not Daniel. What's your name? No, you tell me your name. Elisei, Elisei. And you say, how easy is it to pull this thing out? Try to pull it out. You see how easy it is to pull out? Yeah. It's very easy. We can, we can pull it out very easy, right? But let me tell you, thank you, thank you. If you leave it to, be grow, to, to grow big like this, or even sometimes can grow as tall as I am, like four or five feet, it's extremely, extremely difficult to pull out. So that's why in our lives, when you see there is a sin coming out, always run to Jesus, confess it, ask God for forgiveness and pull it completely out, right? And at the same time, another one that I really dislike. This was the one that I really, really dislike. Do you know why? Not only that it's dirty right now, but sometimes, look at this. It's so thorny. Let me have a, let me have a volunteer. Can somebody come here? Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, I think you're too little. Caleb, why don't you come here? Try to pet this little flower that I have. How, ooh, how is it? Hard. It's, it's very difficult, right? Imagine what this little, this is a thistle, by the way. When this thistle here grows and grows extremely fast. I think this thistle here has got only two, three days. But this thistle, that call some one week or two weeks, it grows very big and not only that, it's something kind of, you see right here on top? Those are seeds. So if you don't cut it early enough, those little seeds, each one of them will create another plant. And guess what? More work. And every time, your hands, very, very difficult to destroy it. So that's why we need a hoe or we need something kind of to, to cut it off. 
You know what? This thistle here, even though I don't like it, testifies that the word of God is accurate. It's flawless. Când Dumnezeu spune, blestemat este pământul din cauza neascultării tale because of sin, this one grows. So anytime and every time you go in your garden and see burien, see thistles, mărăcini, spin, something that you didn't plant and you don't want, always thank God because His word is flawless. Cuvântul lui Dumnezeu este încercat și este perfect. May the Lord bless you and make sure you go home when you go home and help your parents in the garden. This is good for you. This will be good to get your hands dirty a little bit and you will learn maybe a lesson or two while you're in the garden. Amen? Okay, God bless you. Go back to your seats.